let's talk about the mlb the show 22 mobile companion app and how we can utilize that to help ourselves in diamond dynasty and utilize it to make a ton of stubs even when we are not sitting down at our console we can be making stubs on the fly all over the place by utilizing this and with the show 22 companion app so let me walk through it in this video break down all the features of it some new things this year have used the companion app last year there are some new features and changes this year so let's walk through let's break everything down show you how you can use this companion app to really up your game so if you search up MLB The Show in the App Store, you will see the MLB The Show companion app. It'll be just the 22, the background there. We can see all the things happening. This is the app you are wanting to get right here. I'm going to go ahead and open that bad boy up. If it's your first time opening, it's going to ask you to log in, connect your account, do all of those things. So all you got to do is log in with your Xbox, PlayStation, or Switch account. And it'll automatically link everything for you. Here at the gate, I can see my name. I can see my stub count up there in the top right. And we can see some news as well. The most recent news happening for the game. That's going to be right here on the homepage. We can see more news. We can see about the supercharge. We have the Nat City Connect. We got some other news articles as well. The most recent game update, the most recent patch. We can see all that information there as well. This is kind of our landing cub for the app, but we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on this page. This second tab here is where we can actually come in and we can purchase packs. If I wanted to, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to buy one headliner pack for the culture. Yes, I want to buy that pack. Now I have bought that one pack. And I lost 40,000 subs in doing so. Hello? I bought that one pack. I guess there were some orders that are going on right now. I don't know what happened there. We have that one pack. We'll come in here. We can open our pack on the app itself. Our app packs glitchy. Let's find out. We get a bronze. We get a silver. And it looks this is like another silver right there. So app packs, not necessarily the move. You don't have better luck on them. That's about standard for my pack luck. But you can come in if there's a flash sale going on. You don't have to miss the flash sale. You can come in here and get the flash sale packs on the app. Just pull up your phone, have the app ready, and you can come in and utilize that to your advantage. Third tab here is the marketplace tab. We'll come back to this one just in a second. Our fourth one here is where we can actually utilize our squad. So you can see I have two squads going on here. Let's take a look at my main squad right now. Y'all can see how cracked out the no money spent team is. We got all the guys in the lineup. We have our bench as well. I can see what our batting rotation looks like. So let's say JT Romuto, hey, he's been on fire for me. I know I need to update that. I want it updated for when I get home so I can dive right into ranked. I can just come in, click, hold, drag him onto that seven hole, and it'll update the lineup just like that. We can also do the same for our rotation as well. We can see our starters. Really, really cool feature that they added this year. This is new, being able to go through the squad. Of course, this fourth icon here, or the fifth icon, I should say, this is all of our orders, our notification screen, so I can see when things are selling. I can see all my friends pulling tons of diamonds from all these packs. No diamonds for me. I can see my sell order, see my buy orders. Then we have the 22 icon. We're going to spend a lot of time here on the 22 icon. One, we can see our completed orders here so I can stay updated with what I've been doing. As you can see, we've been selling a lot of stuff. Some overnight flips that I was able to buy all while purchasing on the app. I can see my pack history as well. If I want to show off to all my friends that I did, in fact, pull my trout out of a show pack, I can do that. Of course, you scroll through mine, you're going to see absolutely no diamonds because I don't have any pack luck at all in the slightest. As we move our way down here, we have our inventory tab. Inventory tab, I spent a lot of time in here because where I'm actually coming through and selling things. You can see your full inventory, but if I know, for example, I've been spending a lot of time flipping MLB cards and I've been flipping these Prospect Gold Series. So I can come in there, filter by that, and I can see, okay, now I have uh, Luis Matos. I have five of those. I would have bought those for around 1,600, so we'll come in here. I can create a buy or sell order. Sell order 12068. Just double check my math. 2069, 2068. And here's one of the best parts about the app. Ready? I'm going to finalize that order. I do not have to put in that price again. I can finalize the order again and finalize the order again and finalize the order again boom i just created four listings to sell in absolutely no time and that's just me going through clearing out my inventory i do the same in here we will come in here reset it i come in here clear out my inventory every once in a while just make sure everything i have i'm in here equipment i've been working with a lot of equipment recently as well in my flipping starting to really 
flip on the app a little bit more i have these core sleeves holding on those a little bit i think they i think they can jump up in price even more they've been jumping up in price over the afternoons but that is our inventory tab right there and of course we can see our packs after that and then our orders our buy and sell orders we can come in here cancel anything we want to cancel to as well now of course the biggest thing here is the marketplace tab we can see every single card in the game we can see here so if i wanted to come in and buy somebody of course i could just come in and buy the ground ball tiny whoever but as you can imagine this creates a very 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 effective method to come in and flip so one of the big things we can do is actually filter out and just look for what we want to look for let's say again you've been having a lot of success flipping let's say equipment let's say specifically you've been flipping gold equipment we'll have equipment we'll have gold we'll show our results and boom we now have every single gold equipment available let's say i wanted to come in and buy this icon seven booze at five thousand i'm getting 4500 back at 3844 sell now that's a pretty good margin we can have there i can tap on it just like that see all the current orders i can see the most completed orders as well so i can come in here and check and see okay it is actually selling for 3800 and people are actually buying it for 5000 subs i can see those completed orders i can see the current orders and i can also see the trend line as well that is a big one for me so i can look at this and say okay over the past couple of days yeah this has been a 5000 stub card or so uh yesterday the average sell price was 4k so coming in getting it at 3844 that's a pretty good margin for me i can actually now just press and hold on this icon 7 boost it'll automatically pull up the buy and sell order screen so 3901 is our lowest sell order so as i can see 3901 that is the lowest buy order so i will come in here 3902 create an order to buy it and boom that's done if i wanted to just create more and more and more orders i could continue to just press finalize order over and over and over again and i would be able to see that and i could continue down the line and continue to price orders over and over for example we could look at this course sleeve i already have a couple of those but i can look at the trend line and see okay the last couple of days it's been selling for 2400 almost 2500 right now it's creeping back up to 2400 probably getting to a pretty good place to sell may hold on to it just for a little bit more to see what happens i can look at this dominant knit for example and see okay 3800 3500 okay that 3700 is at it's a pretty good price right now the trend line is one of the most important things in the app that you can use for example when you come in here look at it and we'll be card as well we'll keep it on gold and we'll go to the prospect series we've been talking a lot about prospects recently i'll find a guy like uh luis matos who we worked with earlier we can see his trends okay he was 4200 33 33 32 then 25 25 2000 1950 and then back up to 2050 yesterday so uh he's currently at 2068 okay we're starting to see that little bit of a trend up may not be a bad idea for me to get in on those right now as they're starting to trend up he's a bit lower than what he had been we see that trend line up i can use those trends to help make me better decisions a good example as well within the prospects is this yasel atunia I don't know how to say his name. I hope I'm saying it right. We see 6,300 buy now, 5,300 on the sell now. That is a wild price for a prospect. I can come and look at his trends and say, okay, let's see. He was 3,200. Then he went up to 5,000. Then back down to 36, 35. And all of a sudden, he's put 6,000 on a day, but only 5,200 stubs yesterday. So right now, him being at 6,300 on the buy now. That's probably an inflated price. I can probably avoid dealing with this card as I use that trend line. Help me better understand some decisions. As well, in the marketplace too, one thing you can do that I love, will go ahead, I will reset my filter. I'll just reset that so we can see all the cards in the market. And let's say there's a certain card I've been flipping and I've been having a ton of success with that certain card. Or maybe come a couple weeks as we start getting more data from these MLB players, we know, hey, this guy right here, he's super underrated. I think he can get an upgrade. I want to watch him. I want to keep my eye on him. I want to see what his price is doing. If it fluctuates downward, I can come in and pick some up. We can actually add any card to a watch list. So I already have a couple of cards in there that I'll show off, but I'll just add another one right here. Let's say I wanted to buy Mike Trout really soon, but I'm going to keep an eye on his price. Uh, one, of course, we can track our trends through 20K. Pretty solid price for him. Maybe I want to know if it gets any lower and I just want to be able to easily see him. I can just press that heart in the top right corner of my screen. And then now in my marketplace tab, I can press this watch list right here on the left. As I press that, it is going to give me all my MLB cards that have watch lists, stadiums, equipment, sponsors, unlockables, perks, anything like that. You can go through 
and watch list anything right now i have tyler o'neill face off to a pretty good start to the season maybe he can get an upgrade i'll keep an eye on his price again we can check his trends and say okay usually he's around 3,000 stubs on the cell now not sure why he's 4200 right now don't really want to mess with that but maybe if he gets back down to 3,000, i may buy a couple and if he gets back up to five i could look to sell him drew romo been a really solid flip for me we got a couple hundred sub flip right there and then mike trout i'm just having there to watch his price but i can come through and i can watch list all these cards so i'm not having to go through and filter through the entire market especially as flash shells are upcoming if we are getting a big dog set one flash shell pack i can go in the market and watch list each of the big dog players so i know when they're upcoming in the packs so that is the gist of it other than that the marketplace on the app works the exact same as it does on the game with our buy and our sell orders the only the main difference of course being the watch list is an incredible feature the trend lines are much easier to decipher on the app in my opinion because we just see firm numbers for buy and sell now versus a graph and then two being able to place multiple orders at the same price point without having to re-enter that price point every time is huge you can just sit there and just press 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 orders are going to fly out you can definitely be way more efficient with the amount of orders you're putting in while utilizing the app here so i definitely do recommend it if y'all want to see a app only flipping challenge see how many subs we can make in one hour on the app definitely hit me up and let me know down in the comment section below and if y'all enjoyed this video definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe i love bringing these tips and tricks to y'all i love helping y'all out that's what i'm here for so hit me up down in the comments if you have any questions or feel free to swing by one of our live streams Catch the link to that in the description below twitch.tv slash Ansel Armstrong. Try to help people out as much as we can. I know well, for a lot of people, the normally spin grind has been a little bit tougher this year. But I think there's some things we can do to ensure that we're having a successful year in the money spin. And I think in the long run, we're going to be in a great spot. As always, until next time, I'll catch y'all around.